Welcome to My Personal Geek, the channel dedicated to helping the non-technical master their computer. In this video, we'll be adding a signature with a picture to our emails using Microsoft Outlook. We're running Microsoft Windows 7 in Outlook version 2007. Adding a signature is a useful addition to your emails, and adding a picture can really set your emails apart. It's fun and easy, so let's get started. From Outlook, from the main menu, we'll click on Tools and select Options. From the Options box, we'll select the Mail Format tab and then look down to Signatures and click the Signatures button. We want to create a new signature, so we're going to click the New button and we'll type a name for the signature. We'll call it Geek. Click OK. And then we'll put the cursor in the Signature Edit box. And we'll start by signing my signature. And now I want to add a picture. And to do that, we simply move over to the little picture icon on the right hand side and click the picture icon. Now I have a picture that I've selected that's on my desktop so we'll scroll up and click on the desktop and then we'll scroll down till I find the picture and there it is Geek Original. We'll click on that and select insert and there's my picture added to my signature but hold on, this picture is way too big and unfortunately this editor box does not allow me to resize so this isn't going to work. So we've got to be a little creative here. So let's cancel out, cancel out of the options box and we'll minimize Outlook and now we're going to open up Microsoft Paint which is the very simple paint application that comes with Windows and to do that we click on the start button and in the search box we'll just type the word paint and then paint will appear under programs and we're going to select that which opens up the paint application. Now we're going to go to the drop down list and click that and select open And as you recall, the picture that I want to use is on my desktop, so I'll click Desktop. And then scroll down till I find the picture, and there it is, Geek Original. And I'll click Open. And as you notice, the picture is just way too big to add in an email signature, so what we need to do is resize this picture. And it's very simple to accomplish this. We're just going to go up to the menu and click on Resize and then the resize and skew box opens up. Now I like to make sure that pixels are selected and for this case we're just going to cut this in half. Now also we want to make, make sure that the maintain aspect ratio box has been checked that way we only need to change one setting and I'll change the horizontal setting and I'll cut it approximately in half to 125 pixels and you'll notice that the vertical changes automatically now I'll click OK and the picture has been resized to a more usable format for email. So once again I'll go to my drop down box and click Save As but we want to save this as a JPEG which is very good for email and web use so we'll click JPEG and we want to make sure that I save it where I can find it so we're going to put it back on the desktop so I'll click desktop and we'll change the name of this so we don't overwrite the original file to geek underscore two and we'll click save. Now I can close out paint and reopen Outlook and we'll follow the same steps. We'll go to the tools menu, select options select the Mail Format tab, 
Under Signatures, we'll click the Signatures button. I still have my signature there to edit, so I simply need to click into my edit box, type my signature, and now I want to add my photo back. And to do so, once again, I scroll over to the little picture icon, click the picture icon. I know that my file has been saved on my desktop, so I want to make sure that I'm on my desktop. And then I just scroll down till I find my modified picture. Remember, I call that Geek 2. So we'll select that and insert. And now my picture is suitable for email. So I select OK. And OK once again. And now when I create a new email, I have my personal signature along with the photo. So let's say that I want to change a photo to something else. That's not a problem. Let's close this out. We'll go back up to Tools, back to Options, select our Mail Format tab. Once again, select the Signatures button. And this time, what I'll do is just click on my picture and hit my delete key. And now I can open up and select a different picture. It's that simple. Thanks for watching.